front porch. Oh, I did leave one on the front porch, okay. So, we're basically just coming back every hour so we'll be checking our traps because of the heat. We don't want, we want to make sure that, you know. So this is a friendly kitty, but we couldn't catch him. And um, so we're gonna set her up. Looks like a girl. We're gonna set her up at the shelter with food and water. It's okay. She's a good girl. Absolutely. <laughs> it's funny. Mm -hmm. But they were literally covered. Species. It was. I wish. Oh, it, it's so. It's such a bummer that um, you guys couldn't be here. I'll put her in one of those. Okay. <laughs> I'll rinse the crate and dry it real quick. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And so we've done that now for 39 now. 39. 39. Yeah. Wow. Everybody 39. has been vaccinated, formed, and um, we the plants have medicated. Um, my name's Deborah Doe, D-O-E, and I'm um, the founder of uh, this organization, New England Society for Abandoned Animals. And can you tell me a little bit about what, what happened uh, yesterday? Well, we got a call from the Barnstable Police Department that they were in need of help, that there was a condemned, to be condemned home full of animals. And we responded within a few minutes and found um, 38 cats and kittens um, were in the home in deplorable conditions. Can you tell me a little bit more about the, you know, the conditions, the temperature and that type of thing? It was extremely, extremely hot. There's fecal matter over basically every surface in that house. Um, everywhere we walked, clothes, couches. I've never seen anything like it. And I've been doing this for four years, which isn't that long, but still, I've never seen anything. The, the animals were full of fecal matter because there was fecal matter everywhere. You couldn't be avoided. Their fur was covered in it and fleas, and everybody had to be um, washed. Each animal had to be washed by hand. And, and there were burn marks on them from the fecal matter and urine. That's, it's all over the house, and it's very sad. Fortunately, everybody's very friendly. Everybody got bathed. Everybody got their first uh, vaccination wormed. They got flea tr treatment. They're going to get, all, everybody's going to get spayed and neutered within the next few weeks. But we need volunteers and, um, you know, and, and volunteers and, sorry, volunteers and, um, and hopefully f some donations to help with offset some of this medical costs that we're going to be incurring. And how would people get in touch with you? 
Um, the best way is either, I'd say email would be a great way to handle it. Um, and what's your website? Uh, www.nesaa.org. And how, what's the condition of the uh, kittens now? How are they doing? They're doing great. They've all, you know, had their baths and they've eaten. They were all very hungry. Um, some were at the point of passing out from the heat. Um, and I saw no water source for them in the house. So um, they were all very dehydrated. And anything else you'd like to add? Um, just that if there's, you know, anybody that has any experience with animals um, that would like to volunteer, um, it would be greatly appreciated. Wonderful.